Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from Joshua chapter 8, verses 30 through 35. Later, Joshua built an altar to the Lord, the God of Israel, on Mount Ebal, of unhewn stones on which no iron tool had been used, in keeping with the command to the Israelite of Moses, the servant of the Lord, as recorded in the book of the law. On this altar they offered holocaust and peace offerings to the Lord. There, in the presence of the Israelites, Joshua inscribed upon the stones a copy of the law written by Moses. And all Israel, stranger and native alike, with their elders, officers, and judges, stood on either side of the ark facing the Levitical priests who were carrying the ark of the covenant of the Lord. Half of them were facing Mount Gerizim and half Mount Ebal, thus carrying out all the instructions of Moses, the servant of the Lord, for blessing of the people of Israel on the first occasion. Then were read aloud all the words of the law, the blessings and the curses, exactly as it was written in the book of the law. Every single word that Moses had commanded, Joshua read aloud to the entire community, including the women and the children and the strangers who had accompanied Israel. So this is the revelation that the Father gave me through this scripture. There is someone who has placed you on an altar and they have put a curse on you. And the type of curses they have placed on you on this altar consists of stripping you of all of your covering for you to be bare, naked, exposed, exposure in some type of way. They want you to be barren. They don't want you to have kids or they don't want you to give birth to anything. This can include your promises. This is someone who wants you to be without. They don't want you to produce. They want you to be without fruit. This is also on their altar. They want you to be stoned. So this is someone who wants you to be public, publicly humiliated. Okay. So this is something or some things that this person has on their altar to curse you. They want you to be completely stripped of your covering. They want you to be exposed in some type of way. They want you not to be able to produce anything. And they want you to be publicly humiliated. The father also showed me the word high school. Okay, he also showed me the word high school. That can be for somebody. This person also has inscribed something on this altar. They have inscribed laws. These are things that they want to happen to you. More than one person is involved in this making of this altar. More than one person is involved. They received instructions or directions for someone, from someone. So there's more than one person involved. There may be two or more people there could be two people involved who inst who received instructions from one person or there could be one person involved who received instructions from another person. However, these people are close. Okay? Verse 34 reads, Then were read aloud all the words of the law, the blessing and the curses, exactly as written in the book of the law. This is something that they chant whatever it is that they have written down whatever it is that they have inscribed on this altar this is something that they chant the father says daily this is them praying against you this is what they were instructed to do they were instructed to pray over you pray against you at this altar and to say these things daily they were instructed to chant these things. However, the father says these things will not prosper. Instead of you receiving these curses, you will receive blessings. This person 
is representing Ebal. Okay, and this is the altar where uh, the place where the altar is set up, and this is what this person is representing Ebal. And that means stripped of covering, bare, naked, barren, and stoned. You are representing the mountain, which is Gerizim. And Gerizim name means a mountain that is sacred, protected, and blessed. Okay, so the father is saying, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are a mountain that is sacred. You are protected and you are blessed. This mountain also means to be a mountain that is split in two. So you may be separated from this person, although this is someone who may be close to you. Whoever has you on this altar, this is someone who is close to you. They know you personally, but you, however, you are separated from this person. This person may also be someone who claims to love and know our Father, our God, okay, in Jesus Christ. And while they're praying against you and making altars against you, they may very well be saying that they love the, the Father, they pray to the Father, and so on and thus forth. But the Father just wants you to know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. You are a mountain that is sacred, protected, and blessed. And he just wants to make you aware of what this person is doing. Okay? So, that's the message. Peace.